Well met, lords and ladies, Jacob Butter speaking. Normally I do this kind of video on Gacha using my Gacha OC and such, because it's another Gacha announcement, but given that my microphone is still not working, at least to my knowledge, and there's no discernible explanation as to why a four-month-old microphone has stopped functioning the way that it's supposed to, I decided to record this video on Facecam using my phone, because that has another mic and it's also quite good. But that being said, this is indeed another gotcha announcement. And it is one about the mutant girl. Shock horror, I know. I was surprised like 50% of my gotcha announcements are like that. But yes, this is another competition that I am going to be asking now. Or I say competition, not really a competition as such, but more of a chance to participate. Because in 15 days time, it will be the second anniversary of the mutant girl. And as such, we're actually working on a remake of the first episode, correcting all the past mistakes that we can possibly do and making it look much more presentable than it actually is. Amongst those past mistakes are the lack of extras. Back in the days of Gacha Life, there weren't that many character slots, and also there weren't that many places you could put extras in a scene, not much less even create them in the first place. And so, because I didn't have much of a concept of saving characters in the form of exports, and I also didn't want to redesign them over and over again, I decided to eschew the idea of extras and just focus on the core cast for the rest of the entire series. But that's something that I no longer have to do, not only because I have another five people to help edit the series, but also because Gacha Club is a thing, and that has way more slots and way more slots in a studio as well. So we can afford to export the characters and get some extras in there. And I'd like those extras to be made by you, because people complain about my character designs all the time, so I don't trust myself with that. So, this is the Mutant Girl OC submission for extras. I don't know what I'm going to call this particular one. I'm sure that I'll think of some sort of clever hashtag or something on the fly like I did last time. But the point is that I would like to see what OCs you submit, whether you do so in the form of comments or a video or on my Discord. It depends. Remember that my Discord is jacobbutter2810. There are a couple of rules as to what I'm looking for. Obviously, because it's the Musing Girl, the characters have to be human, by which I mean they can't have any animal ears or tails, angel wings, deer antlers, etc, etc. They also shouldn't have any effects in the background, so if you want to submit a particular OC that has any of those, then please remove them before doing so. Also, please do specify if they're actually an adult character or a teen character or a child character, because that will depend as to where we can put them. If it's a child or teen character, we can put them in the school scenes. If it's an adult character, we can probably put them in some other school scenes as teachers, possibly not. But then also there's like that park scene in the beginning that also has adult characters that can appear. And that's really it, honestly. There's not much in the way that I think I need to specify anything else, actually. Everything else can be worked through and we can I can decide that with the designers and the editors that I have. So just bear in mind those two simple rules and you'll be golden. Say, season one Mrs. Dysart, how long should we give them for this? Three days! Well, that seems fair to me. Considering that it's not voice acting lines and OCs take much less time to actually work with, especially if you have them already and just want to export them in the first place, I'd say yes, three days is a good amount to go by. So as of whatever time this video goes live, you will have exactly three days in order to submit them. And I try to think of a hashtag now, actually. Um, hashtag MGOC. There we go. Using Girl OC. Simple as. MGOC. Perfect. And so if you wanted to submit those on, on YouTube videos, then please make sure you have offline exports. That's the other rule, offline exports only, because I'm on PC and PC does not have the online option to export from. So I will need the offline submissions in order to actually get them and put them into Gacha Club, as will most of the people that I work with. So yeah, again, simple rules, hashtag MGOC, and good luck. Hopefully we get this out on time, quite honestly, because it's been taking a while. We'll see. I'm confident. But either way, good luck once more, and please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters. Subscribe if you've not done so already, and be sure to note down March the 17th in your calendars, because 
that's honestly quite a big day, actually, for this channel. There's going to be a lot going on throughout the entire day. So we'll see. But for now, until next time, farewell.